Hi, welcome to Fitness Mancers. I'm your Monday Fitness Mancers guy. As our fitness chick has said on Sunday, our topic this week is do you count calories or do you care about the calories that you eat or that you burn? And I've made a video about this in the past and I'll probably link it in the show notes over there. But the short answer is no. I've never cut. The only reason I've ever counted calories is not so that I know that I need to eat under a certain limit. It's to make sure that I eat over a certain limit. That the calories that I eat put me over the starvation mode. Other than that, I've really never ever cared about calories. Obviously, being on the Atkins diet, you're counting carbs. You're counting the number of vegetable portions that you're eating per day, the amount of food that you're eating per day in volume, as opposed to counting a specific hard-to-figure, exactly figure called calories. And why, why do I think that's important, or why do I think it's important not to get so involved in the whole caloric intake, is that it takes a skewed view of the human body. It takes a view of the human body just like as if it was a steam engine. You put the coal in the engine, and it does a certain amount of work. And it's never worked that way in my life. I, you put so much food in the engine, and you don't get that amount of work off. Or, said a different way, i.e. you put this much food out of the engine and you are guaranteed absolutely that much weight lost. i.e. if you take 3,000 calories out of the system, either by burning it or not eating it, you are guaranteed a pound lost. And the body is just not that way. It's not a, a simple put in food in, get energy out system. There's so many other things that can affect it, i.e. sodium intake can affect your water retention. Um, hormonals can cause the body to store fat as stress. Insulin enables the body to store fat as on the body as opposed to burning it. I, you take some of those things away and the body burns your, your metabolism differently. You starve it, obviously your metabolism slows down. Further, okay, that's kind of my thinking. How does that bear on in real life? Am I backed up by anything or is this just crazy talk that Kent's just coming up with? Well, in 2003, a Harvard um, scientist called Penelope Green did a study, divided people up into three different groups, a high carb group, a low carb group, basically modeling the Atkins induction ratio for fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, and a high, uh, lower carb group that had the same ratios, but had 300 calories more than any of the other two groups, the low carb or the high carb group. And what were the results of that study after 12 weeks? The group that lost the least amount of weight was a high carb group. The low carb group eating the same amount of calories lost almost seven more pounds than the high carb group. If it was just a calorie in, calorie out um, calculation, how could there be any different? Because they ate exactly the same amount of calories by food provided by dietitians by local restaurants in town. Who lost the second most weight? The people eating 300 more calories per day lost a, at five more pounds than the high carb group. They, over the course of those 12 weeks, they ate 25,000 more calories, i.e., eight, eight and a third pounds of, of weight in their diet that they took in. And they lost more weight than the high carb group, thereby totally eradicating the fact that lower, lower calories equals more weight lost. So that, that's my view. Obviously, I'm interested to see what other people have done for their weight loss. Some people might need to look at how to calorically restrict themselves in order to lose weight. I certainly found them never to be helpful in the past, never lost weight on a low-calorie diet before. Only way I ever found success, low-carb is where it was at. Talk to you guys later. Bye.